Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. All right, welcome back to Tim Friend. I went ahead and took a little break between episodes because uh, this chapter is fucked up. So it's a it's a pretty simple it's a, it's a defend a person chapter, but you don't start out with that person. They start out it's Zephiel. He starts out like over here, uh, so we have to fight our way to him and then defend him. Uh, we've also got Jafar hanging out over here. You can't see him yet, but he's there. And Nino over here, and you can't see her yet, but she's here. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> look up how to recruit Nino real quick. Don't even worry about it. Um, well, we've got to recruit Nino with someone, and then how do you Nino? How do you Nino? Um, oh, it's there's fog of war, so that's garbage. Um, <laughs> it sucks. Uh, and Ursula is the enemy. And Ursula's got bolting, so we don't know where Ursula is, and she will be shooting boltings at us, which sucks. Um, bum, 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 bum. How do you, how, how, how do you recruit this shit? Uh, oh my god, okay, um, fuck. Fucking goddamn. So there's Fog of War. Uh, there's chests that will be going, gone after by thieves. The chests are very important because they have very good items in them, uh, including the rescue staff, I believe, and uh, uh, boots. I think there's fucking boots, which is amazing. Um, oh, God. We're going to want to send someone with bolting. I did most of the, uh, the unit sort of uh, equipping. Uh, on my little break just because uh, there's a lot of shit that I needed to do um, how the fuck do you recruit Nino I know it's a lord I'm pretty sure it's just the lord that leads the path okay cool um, cool so we've got to have Hector talk to Nino which is kind of a bitch um, and then have fucking Nino talk to Jafar, which doesn't recruit him while keeping Zephiel alive. So, we're gonna save, because uh, it's possible that a lord will die in this one. And, uh, we'll give this a shot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's Carol, what's up? Your name is Champ, correct? The tactician? I see. You use wisdom as your blade. Interesting. Champ. I'll remember your name. So dumb. I hate you, Carol. I really don't like the way you are. Uh, we'll have... Can Legault kill this bandit? Not quite. Uh, but we can have Hector roll up. And Ninian roll up and dance for Hector. Because we've got to get Hector to start rolling down there. <laughs> as fast as possible. It's possible that we could talk to Ninian with Lin. I don't remember if that's the case. But whatever. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll try it with Hector. Uh, we'll have Florina jump in and use her iron sword. Hopefully there's no sniper hanging out back there or warrior with a fucking silver bow or some shit. That would end my life. Uh, I would be very sad. Uh, there's a hero. What you got, hero? Silver sword and a lockpick. Fascinating. Uh, we'll have Legault move up and use his torch, which should greatly increase his vision range, which is already great because he's a fucking thief. So this is what we've got in here. Up priest, a bishop, I should say, with the divine and physic. Uh, other than that, not super threatening. Uh, we'll have Hector roll in, and uh, no, we'll, we'll have fucking Lynn can't get that guy. Raven can't get that guy. Hector's gotta kill that guy. Oh well. Uh, so we'll have him do that with an iron axe. So this mission's bullshit. Because uh, Jafar, uh, they basically Zerg rushed Jafar. And he's got a killing edge, and he's a promoted assassin, and his stats are pretty great. Uh, but the RNG can really fuck with him, because uh, as an assassin, uh, his defenses are basically based on evasion. Uh, his defense is actually pretty high for an assassin, but you see what I mean? Like, if they roll high, and he rolls low, and he doesn't heal himself or some shit, then we're shit out of luck. <laughs> and that's not a place we want to be. Uh, so we'll have Sane run in. So we're having our mounted brigade of Kent and Sane and Priscilla and Urk uh, run the hell down there and try to save him and then bring him over to Nino and then have the Nino team uh, recruit Nino 
get the rescue staff and save Zephiel. Because they will come at Zephiel, and it's a bummer. And he's kind of shitty, uh, even though he's like one of the fucking final bosses of Fire Emblem 6. Spoiler alert, but not super spoiler alert. We've covered this. Sword Reaver, fuck you! Jafar, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Good job, Jafar. Alright, so that's fucked up. They send out Axe Fighters with Sword Reavers against him. Uh, I think uh, Maxime, the paladin that we saw in the cutscene, will also be fighting against Jafar. Uh, Nino, we don't super have to worry about. Eventually, she will be overwhelmed. But I think she just fights like light magic users for a bit. And uh, she does really shitty against everything for a bit. But we'll train her up. She'll be the best. We'll be, she'll be the best. Just don't even, don't even worry about it. Uh, okay, it's Archer coming in. That's another thing. They have an Archer. So the Archer can shoot at Jafar, but Jafar will almost never go for that Archer. So it'll just be shot at forever. Zephyr wakes up, so he'll defend himself if they fight him. Uh, it goes against the pillar, showing his tactical genius. Oh, Jafar went after the archer and gets a crit. The assassin crits. They're pretty fucking cool. I like them. Good job, Jafar. But you also sort of threw yourself towards the enemies, which is less great for you. Uh, but maybe that guy will... Uh, I don't know. We'll fucking see. We'll fucking see. Uh, who goes for this door? Uh, Raven's got a chest key. The gulp. Open that door. Uh, fucking Pent. Uh, should we have Lin kill this hero? Uh, so we could have Pent weaken him, and then Lin kill him. Uh, god, that hero is actually real strong. Uh, we'll have fucking... Where can Ninian get? Ninian can get to there. We'll have Hector. Okay. So we need Pent to heal Hector. So Pent will heal Hector, and then we'll have Hector move to just outside Ninian's movement range, and then Ninian will go dance for Hector, and we'll throw Hector into the mix. Because uh, he should be able to survive most of it. Ugh, there is a bishop and a mage there, so that'll be pretty scary, actually. We could have Florina fly down and fuck people up, too, though. Um, so Ninian can go right next to Florina, so we'll move Hector here. Uh, and we'll have Hector one-shot this mage. Because this is less about, <coughs> less about getting experience to the right people, and more just, like doing it, doing the fucking side objectives as efficiently as possible, because holy shit, there's a lot of them, in that there's chests, and there's two characters we want to recruit, but one of them, oh god, and they're on the opposite sides of the map, which makes for a really fun mid-map, having people thrown halfway across the map via rescue chaining. We'll have Hector roll up and use a silver axe to one-shot this bishop, because we don't want to take nine damage from him. Uh in addition to whatever damage that mage is going to do. Oh, an Elysian Whip. That'll go great with my Merlinus. Um, we'll have Louise come up and shoot this hero. Maybe she'll crit. Nope. All right, that still helps because uh, it's damage is damage is damage. Uh, we'll have Raven. Oh, Raven would just kill him. Um, Florina can come down and kill this knight, hopefully. Uh, with Steel Lance, yeah, she can. Uh, she should be okay. She's got enough HP to survive it. Uh, hopefully she dodges some attacks. She did dodge that. That's good. Oh, God, this mission is fucking serious mode. So there's not going to be a lot of jokes until everything's sort of settled down. So I'm sorry about that, but also, uh, this is an Iron Man run. I know I'm not getting another chance at this. This is, it's got to be fucking for reals. Um, we'll have fucking... Ellie would come in and help with that hero, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got hasn't seen a lot of action recently. We'll have him give it a shot, even though he'll take a fuck. Oh, the crit! Well, I guess Ellie Wood will just kill this hero, and you know it. We'll take it. I'm sorry that Lin doesn't get the experience, but I'm just glad that hero's down, and that will let Lin move up to assist with the next room as well. Uh, lockpick, hooray, hurrah! So that should definitely give us enough lockpick for the rest of the game. Uh, we'll have. Urk running first, and then Priscilla running next, and then Kent, and we'll have him equip his spear, and Sane, and we'll have him equip his javelin. Just in case, just in case, just in case, uh, we'll have Merlinus come along down here. Uh, there's not a lot of reinforcements from the back in this chapter, but I want to bring everyone up just in case... Uh, I need people for baiting. Uh, good job. Ooh, we got to see the fucking, uh, oh, what is it called? Silence? 
the assassin's special move where uh, they crit and instead of just doing triple damage, they just kill the enemy. No matter how much HP or damage or whatever, whatever the numbers would work out to, the assassin just has a chance to straight up kill the opponent. It's awesome. Fucking Sword Reaver. Okay. Oh, God. All right. Jafar will get a crit on fucking silence him, I guess. Jesus. Jafar, that was unnecessary, but whatever. Another very real danger that Jafar faces, fuck, is that he will run out of killing edge uses. And that sucks, because then he just takes hits, because he doesn't get the sweet uh, weapon triangle advantage against some enemies. But apparently they all have sword reavers and sword slayers in Hector mode, so I guess he's not getting it anyway. Ah, uh, silence. Well, that was good. That was an efficient use of the killing edge. All right. Oh, God. What else is coming at him? The knight, the mage. Hopefully, if Jafar takes any more hits, hopefully he'll run off and use an elixir on himself, which should heal him back to full. And uh, if he runs away far enough, then <laughs> you know, maybe he'll have a better chance at surviving rather than throwing himself into the teeth of Ursula's army. Uh, hopefully Ursula can't just shoot at him either. Jesus Christ, that would be the worst BS luck if Ursula just straight up killed him right now. Tempting fate with my words. Uh, so that mage will shoot at Sane, but Sane will one-shot him with a javelin. Bap! Good job, Sane. So far, everything's going okay, but we can just straight up lose Jafar, still, so... Uh, this mission stresses me the fuck out. This mission, even though it has things that I think are bullshit, like Fog of War, um, this is a mission where Fog of War, I, I guess, is implemented well, uh, just because it's a mission where you're forced to sort of run forward and the Fog of War obstructs that, but... It doesn't include, like, there's archers, which can fuck over Florina, but there's no snipers, I don't think? I don't think there's any snipers. And at this point, Florina, Florina will take some damage from an archer, but she won't be straight up murdered by an archer, and that's reassuring. Um, oh, good. Stop moving forward, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but he went after a mage, which was a smart move, because the mages can shoot at him, uh, and he killed it in one hit without even a crit, which was nice. Killed one hit without even crit. Uh, Legault, can you kill this mage? Still no. Um, well, fight him anyway. <laughs> just, you know, just to get some shit out of the way. Let's get some damage in. Oh, a crit. Very, very good, Legault. You're capped out, so it's not like you need the experience, but... All right, what have we got down here? Uh, Ninian, you can't quite dance for Hector, but Hector can dance for you. What? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever, I'm rambling because, goddamn, I'm stressed out by this mission. Uh, oh, god, and I'm way over time. Well, after this little awesome Falco Knight animation, which is still remains one of my favorites, uh, we'll call this an episode of Tim Friend. Oh, god, wish me luck, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow on Tim Friend. Tim Friend! <laughs>